YouTube, what is up? Oh, I got something good today. The Homeboy Rage Squonk. It's a good one, gang. It's a good one. Uh, the chip inside it performs like a champ. So, yeah, the Homeboy Rage Squonk. So, uh, yeah, I've been eyeballing this for a bit. I don't know. At first, I didn't like the design. Hell, to be honest, I didn't like the design until I bought the damn thing, which is odd. I know. I know. But I wanted to try it because I am bonkers for those squonkers, man. So I wanted to give it a good whirl and uh, see it, experience it, and deliver it to you guys. So I bought this for the purpose of this review for you. So yeah, I saw it in the store, kind of passed it up a couple times. I said, you know what? I'm going to give this bad boy a try. And uh, yeah, I'm glad I did, man. They, I know I went on and on about the Pulse 80 watt. Damn good device. Nothing wrong with it. I didn't, wasn't really pleased with the temperature control. But having those dual 18650 batteries, is, it's really a game changer. And I, they're not the first to do it. But uh, Omboy has uh, taken it a step further and did it right. And they really did do it right. There's a lot of dual 18650 squonks out there. I just haven't been a fan of it until this one. Also, uh, it has a unique squonk bottle feature. I don't know if you guys can see that. So, yeah, it has a, it's just a little twist pop. And I'll show you this again up close. But, yeah, you just twist it in there and it locks in. And uh, it kind of suctions in there, sort of. It's kind of a unique design. I've never seen anything like it. Usually there's a piece of hose or something that screws up in there. Uh, this kind of has a, a nipple. Oh, oh, that's how it works, man. How it works, like a dog in heat, baby. So yeah, um, yeah. Also, uh, temperature control works amazing on this one. But you know what? Let me take a puff. I'll stop rambling. We'll get down up close and personal, and we'll talk about it. Excellent. All right. So here's our homeboy Rage Squonk, uh, made by Desire Design and Homeboy, put together into the Rage Squonk mod. On the front, you have the different protections it has and list of all that. Um, it also comes in a red, a I believe a blue, but it also comes in a gunmetal and a silver. So it comes in a pretty cool set of colors, and I'll, I'll talk about the paint here in a minute, but it's really cool. Uh, on the back, it talks about the battery capacity, has a wattage range of 5 to 155, Voltage 0 to 8, uh, fires down to 0 0.08, 200 to 600 degrees Fahrenheit, and your scratch and sniff. Pretty nice packaging. Popping it out, you have your own boy Rage. So, yeah, I don't know why I keep saying it like that, but, you know, whatever it is, what it is. Enjoy it. Alright, it'll come inside this little sleeve. The actual star of the show. And when it comes out, you'll have your own boy Rage Squat. So, uh, of course, I forgot to power mine off, but five clicks on, five clicks off. And it comes with these neat little screw and snap bottles I was telling you guys about. As you can see, let's see if I can get that to focus on camera. It has like a little depressed nipple there that will go in a, what appears to be a standard um snap in yeah i can't get that shot but and it just locks in you give it a quarter of a turn you can kind of feel it seat and you're in so very cool uh squonk feature on this thing i like that bottle and the bottle is stiff but it's perfect stiff if that makes sense for this mod i have never over squonked or under squonked it yet so it works and it works well um, the paint job on these things is remarkable, but I digress. Going back to the box, they'll give you your standard one amp charging cable. It's a standard micro USB, and they also give you these little discs. As you can see, I've been running mine without. I haven't had a single problem yet. No scratches, no marks, no scuffs from my tanks or my atomizers. <laughs> Um, however, you do get two of these little plastic discs if you are concerned with that. If you want to keep your mod looking pristine, go ahead and slap that on there. 
and you're good to go and your warranty card and manual and all that are in there but going back to the mod sorry I had to digress there I got excited about that bottle the bottle works works well the paint job on these things are amazing I as you can see I haven't had any scratches I've been using this thing pretty religiously for a month now and uh, eh, probably three weeks but it no problems at all amazing paint job it's very durable very long lasting the battery door has two magnets one at the top one at the bottom however they did this cool little feature where they notched one side deeper than the other and that is so you can pry your batteries out and it, it, it does really well i like that feature i don't have to deal with the stupid band getting in the way or any of that on my magnets uh, you got a spring-loaded uh, battery connectors work very well um, they're not highlighted or anything, but there's a positive, negative, negative, positive in there to kind of guide you which way to put them bad boys. And it it works. You know, it's not highlighted. They could have highlighted it, but, you know. Uh, the battery door, because that notch fits right in there, and it has zero movement. No movement side to side. No movement up and down. Works awesome. Pop an atomizer on here. As I said earlier, I'm using the Dead Rabbit today. Beautiful combination nice little matchy matchy going on and i just think that's sexy as hell it's all black kind of darth vader-ish so yeah at the top we have our own boy and as i mentioned earlier five clicks on desire mod and i'm running this thing in temperature control because temperature control on this mod is fantastic it, it really is it works beautifully so very simple uh, menu system one two three you go into work setting mode which is where you can change your power uh, stainless steel temperature control your max power all that if i do a another three clicks i'm sorry not another three clicks if i hit the up and down button i go into the hands mode setting and that simply uh flips your screen that's the only thing hand mode setting does they kind of made it, you know, where it's work mode, you're doing the, it's doing the work, what you want it to do. Hand mode simply flips your screen. But as I was saying earlier, three clicks into work mode, uh, click on work mode, and you can cycle between stainless steel, TCR, bypass, power, nickel, titanium. I'm vaping on stainless steel right now, so I'll leave it right there. You can click it again, you select your power. I'm going to keep it at 60 watts, and we're out of the menu system. Nice and easy. I love that little menu system. There's no glorified screen. It's not going to get colors or give you a clock or scratch your nuts for you, but it works, and it works well. So, yeah, very cool. Nice clicky fire button, and it is, let's see if you can hear that, it's instant. Uh, as soon as I press that button, we're vaping. So, very cool. Just to re-mention this squonk bottle, it is firm, um, but it never over squonks and under squonks, and it is awesome. Um, I, I'm trying to describe the firmness to it because I know some of you have, you know, some of you are picky about that. Some are too soft, some are too hard. I get it, um, but you'll really enjoy this one. It has a unique feel, unlike like the poles or any of those other devices. Um, so yeah, that is the Rage Squonk mod grab your little end twist boom twist your cap off i will say that i do wish this silver knurling here was a little easier to grip because like with a lot of squonks um just a little squeeze and you're spitting some juice out the top no big deal wipe with a napkin move on we're we're happy but yep so let's go back up top have a vape on it and talk about it all right, that was up close and personal with the Omboy Rage Squonk. Um, sorry about the lighting. I'm still playing in my studio. We moved, I recently moved, and I'm still trying to get the lighting thing down in the man cave. It, I have a few more touches I need to do, but I don't want to delay the videos. I want to try and give you guys something because uh, they're coming out with a lot of stuff right now, and I have a lot of stuff I'm behind on my reviewing. But anyway, I digress. Omboy Rage Squonk love 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 this device um pros and cons on it guys I, I, I if i want to nitpick on one con it is the fact of the uh 
the bottle. I wish they'd have made the knurling a little bigger. Bigger Pulse 80 watt figured it out really good. They have that awesome, a um, lot of metal to grab onto to screw the top on, and I almost never get any over squeeze on that and getting juice stripping out the top and all that good stuff. So uh, I do wish they would have done that with this. I think they could have done that with this, but it works. It works fine. No big deal. Um, another con could be subjective is the design. I know I kind of passed on this mod because of the design. And once I got it, I really enjoy it. Um, they designed this with the hold, the vapors hold in mind really well. Um, what the hell does that mean? I'll, I'll explain a little bit here. I don't know if you guys can see there's finger grooves here and on this side. I catch myself a lot of times, I'm right handed, but I catch myself holding this in my left hand. Um, my fingers fit right in there, the fire button's there, ready to go. And yeah, I actually really like this design now, um, which is a shame because I pass on it for so long because of that. And if you just want to fire with your left hand, or if you're a thumb fire, if thumb fire works really well with this, you just kind of can it out and you're good to go. So it works uh, in either hand. Uh, it doesn't feel uncomfortable in the right hand, but it, it, this rounded part, I just keep, I don't know why, I fire this in my left hand all the time. It works really well when I'm cruising in my sixth foe. So yeah, it works. Works good. So, but that could be a con to some of you. Um, I'm gonna, that's it on cons. Let's talk about pros. Uh, it, this is a heavy, heavy mod, which could be a con. I'm counting as a pro because it is durable, man. This thing, I'm a firm believer I could throw this down the stairs. I'm not going to do it because I buy my own stuff, but I'm a firm believer I could throw this down the stairs and torture test it to death, and it's still going to work, man. It's built like a tank. So, yeah, that's a big pro. Temperature control, temperature control, temperature control. Amazing pro. This temperature control is some of the best I've ever had. Um, I actually, I haven't used this thing on wattage mode hardly at all because temperature control works so good. I mean, it, it rivals my DNA devices. So yeah, oh, that's a huge pro because I know a lot of mods are rushed out there and there's a lot of squat mods that are rushed out there that advertise temperature control, but it's hit or miss. Uh, either it's not reading the atomizer right, you can't set the temperature right. And uh, this one works amazing. I love it. So yeah, temperature control is a big pro. Simplicity of the menu. I know it's not all bells and whistles and flashes.